I have a couple different techniques that you might have never seen and they might help you find that good product. What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Pat Harris and I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller. On my channel, I share tips that help with my own Amazon FBA business so they can help you out as well. I also share additional streams of income that I earn online while I'm selling on Amazon. If you don't know what Amazon FBA is or you're confused at what I'm talking about, I suggest that you watch my other video which covers the basics of Amazon FBA. But in this specific video, I'm gonna be covering how to find good products to sell on Amazon only using Helium 10 and their product research tools called black box and x-ray I have a couple different techniques that you might have never seen and they might help you find that good product to sell on Amazon so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button and we're gonna jump into my computer and see what we could find using only helium 10 in a short amount of time let's go all right guys we are inside helium 10 if you've never seen it this is what it looks like I use helium 10 for all of my product and keyword research I've used all of the other tools out there like jungle scout amaze owl viral launch but I actually did a video on this where I compared my revenue and daily sales on my own product compared to helium 10's estimates and helium 10 was really close all of the other product software was way off like by a couple thousand where helium 10 was only off by a couple hundred dollars and that is important because you want to get as close to an estimate as you can again Amazon doesn't put their data out there for the public so they have to come up with estimates based on like BSR and different algorithms so ever since I saw how close it was to my actual number Numbers, I've been using helium 10 so let's get into it right now we're gonna use black box and we will go over it real quick so a lot of the courses and other videos will show you that you type in a category you do the monthly minimum under the product tab you do the price and then you hit search and it's gonna bring up all the products that match that information but for this video, I'm gonna use the keywords tab. So it's a little different. So you are searching products that match the keyword data rather than the product data. So what I mean is you go in here, you type the minimum search volume. So say you wanna find a product that has 30,000 monthly searches or more. Um, people on Amazon are searching that keyword 30,000 times a month. And then you'll go to the monthly revenue and you will do a minimum of, let's make this up, let's say 10,000. I mean, you could type whatever you want in there. And then we'll do a max review count of 400. So it's not too competitive the more reviews the more competitive it is so then we're gonna hit search and it's gonna bring up all the products that match that keyword data that you typed in so now we're gonna scroll through all of this stuff and see what looks interesting so a camp shower um, 30,000 monthly searches good price point and they're doing $51,000 a month. So we'll add that to Amazon, check it later. And we're gonna keep scrolling through here. So I'm going really quick. I'm not gonna add all of them, but I'm gonna pick out ones that I think look cool or might do well on Amazon. And I don't like any of those. Again, it's a lot of random products. Um, maybe a cake turntable, we'll add that. I'm gonna get three or four products and then try to make this video not too long because I know you're probably bored already as I scroll through here. Um, disc golf bag, um, they're doing 30,000 a month. Let's add that. Let me get one or two more and then we'll actually see like how good they're doing. Um, children's face mask, Apex, birthday soundproof, floating island, magnetic balls, uh, no contact. You guys wanna sell chicken broth, you can. Um, let's keep going here. Face mask, door stopper, wall protector, electric bicycle, adult tricycle, white, white claw koozie. So that's like a cover that would go over those drinks, like the white claws. They're doing 17,000 a month and their search volume is 30,000. Price point's a little low, but we're going to look at all the other sellers. So we will add it on Amazon. And I think that's all we're going to do. There's other products, but we're not going to scroll through all of them. There's like 200 something results. Um, so we'll start off with this one. So these are the little covers that go over like a white claw or those drinks that are like truly There's a lot of different ones that are popular So we are gonna search using x-ray and this is gonna bring up an estimate of all the top sellers on page one So as you can see right here, they're doing over 30,000 monthly searches for white claw koozie The revenue is pretty good over 10,000. They're doing 15,000 a month average 
BSR is really good, price is a little low, and reviews are actually not too competitive. You could actually differentiate this product pretty well, do different designs. Like this is a hard case, so you can make like a white version. Um, so there's a lot of different things you could do. A lot of people doing really well right here. So this person has 171 reviews. They're doing $179,000 a month. Um, this person has 11 reviews, they're doing 6,200. Six reviews, they're doing 7,200. 16 reviews, they're doing 8,200 a month in revenue. So that's pretty good. I usually look at the low revenue or the low reviewed products and I see their revenue to get an idea of how much you would make just starting out. I have 60 reviews on one of my products, so I like to compare that. So this person has 27 reviews and they're already doing almost $10,000 in revenue a month. So this seems like a pretty good product to sell, but you would want to differentiate it. You don't want to launch a product with the same exact design, but there's a lot of different ideas that you could use to differentiate that product. So that's a pretty good find right there. Um, and then let's go to the other ones. So this is the disc golf bag and we will look here and they have 30,000 monthly searches. And then I will look through here. So reviews are really low, but the BSR is pretty high. So that means they're not in demand as much as like the White Claw Koozie um, and the revenue is pretty low. So I'll still come down here and I'll look at the revenue on a lot of the sellers. This one has two reviews, they're doing 7,400. But then if you look here, these guys are not even doing $1,000 a month with almost 25 reviews. So I would stay away from this one also because the BSR and the price probably to make these, it's pretty expensive. But the review count's pretty low, but that means there's probably not much demand for this product. So let's go here, cake turntable, and we will scroll through here. Okay, so you can see that there's 30,000 monthly searches. And then once this pulls up, the average reviews are pretty high. BSR is good, revenue is good, price is good. So I'll come down here and I'll look at all the different sellers to see what they're doing in revenue. This person has 20 reviews, they're not even doing 500 a month. 55 reviews, 10,000 a month. 35 reviews, pretty low. So I would stay away from this one because you can't really differentiate the cake turntable. Uh, maybe you can, but I'm not gonna look into it. And then the last one is a camp shower. So we will run the numbers again with Helium 10 X-Ray. We'll pull it up here. They have 30,000 monthly searches, just like we typed in. And then I'm gonna scroll through. So their revenue is good, BSR is good, price is good. Reviews are a little high, but I wanna come down here. Um, 32 reviews, they're doing 32,000 a month. 30 reviews, they're doing 29,000 a month. Five reviews, they're only doing 2,000 a month. 10 reviews, 9,000. 19 reviews, 6,000. So it's a pretty decent product. It's probably a little seasonal, so I'd wanna look at the trends and I'd wanna look further into it. But then I would wanna come into here and I would see like this person has almost 3,000 reviews. It's the best seller. So you would have to make a better product than this or differentiate it. But there's other guys on here with only 32 reviews on page one. So that's a good sign. So I would wanna look further into this product and I would look further into the White Claw product. Um, these are both pretty decent products from what I saw here but I'd wanna do a lot more research. So hopefully you found this technique helpful. Again, I just used the keyword tab. I typed in random numbers here, um, review count, and I hit search. There's a lot of other things you could type in if you wanna get more detailed, but I just did it like this for the video. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it would really help me out, and you could stay updated with new techniques that I use for my own Amazon FBA business. I will see you in the next video.